Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Orlando and in today's video I have made a selection of fragrances that I recommend are uh, fantastic to wear during the warmer months. So in effect this is my um, top 10 spring summer fragrances. Some of them could be um, transitioned into summer but this is mostly what I would wear now that the weather is finally getting uh, warmer. So without much further ado I will um, begin with my first fragrance and that is uh, Cedra Boise by Mancera. And this is, to me, this is a fruity, fresh, green fragrance with a smoky, woody um, base. Um, perfect for um, the, the warmer days. And this is also a, a very good um, option uh, to wear it uh, in the gym. Um, and there's also um, unisex, I would say, leaning slightly on the masculine side. So at my number 10 spot is Mancera Cedra Boise. The next one uh, that I suggest is by Jo Malone and that's English Oak and Hazelnut. And to me, this is a kind of a fresh, nutty, woody, and very classy fragrance. Um, again, unisex leaning, uh, sorry, unisex leaning, slightly masculine. Uh, really perfect, it smells uh, really amazing. Um, yeah, it's, uh, at my number nine spot is English Oak and Hazelnut by Joel Malone. At my number seven spot, I have Le Mancité by Louis Vuitton. And this one to me, it's a citrus, green, fresh, aromatic, beautiful fragrance. Again, unisex, uh, leaning slightly masculine. At my number seven spot, I have Rehab by Initio. And to me this one is, it's like a feel-good fragrance. It's aromatic, it's fresh, spicy, but at the same time it's got, it's warm and it's got this creamy woody base as well that it's really lovely. And I think the creaminess is coming from the sandalwood note. So it's a creamy woody base, uh, really, really nice. Totally unisex. Uh, bang in the middle. Uh, it's at my number seven spot, uh, Initio Rehab. My next one is Byredo Bal d'Afrique. And this one, to me, is, it smells really kind of citrusy at the top, aromatic, but then it has this ambery base that it's kind of warm and and woody as well. The, there's a vetiver note in here that's kind of dry and woody. Really wonderful. Um, again, totally unisex. The next one is uh, Rouge Malakite by Armani Privé. And this one, it's for those uh, who love tuberose because it's a tuberose bomb, but Having said that, I am not a big fan of tuberose and I really love this fragrance because to me this smells, this is kind of a solar, uh, almost tropical um, white floral and it has this um, warm base of like an ambery and creamy base that it's, I think the amber on the, um, on the base together with the tuberose kind of makes this create this feeling of a creamy it's it's a creamy smell it's it's really well sensation it's really quite uh, amazing so um yeah it's 
um, in my opinion this uh, leans it's unisex leaning more uh, feminine uh, so um, but guys do try it because uh, this does smell different in everyone in different people's skin so I really like it and I wear it myself this was actually my scent of the day yesterday and this I really really love this one uh, is at my number fifth spot is Rouge Malachite by Armani Privé. The next one is another 13 by Le Labo and to me this one smells kind of a it's like a fruity fresh musky and very sexy fragrance it's almost it smells a bit like some when your skin begins to get warm with the sun it has that dryness and warmth um like smells of warm skin i don't know what it is about it but i think it's just um really really incredible and really sexy fragrance uh so this is it um and that's uh also a uh, unisex fragrance uh, at number four spot Le Labo another 13 and I'm now into my top three hmm what could they be um, the next fragrance it's an obsession of mine recently and I really really enjoy it um, it's Imperial Purple uh, from Zara I mean this one to me it's got this kind of airy fresh and powdery and creamy iris note that I think is so nice uh, I mean it's an iris uh, forward fragrance um, but it's got this freshness to it it's and and a creaminess as well and it's just I think it's just perfect for this time of year for warmer days uh, I was wearing it in the other day actually it's my scent of the day today and this is just super incredible I just wish it was um, more projecting than it is so with this one you'll have to have a spray um, this is uh, marketed towards men but I think this is totally unisex bang in the middle uh, so at my number three spot is Imperial Purple by Zara and my number two spot is Creed Green Irish Tweed and this one kind of needs no introduction this is a, a fresh kind of out of the shower fragrance uh, it's aromatic it's fresh it's ozonic and this this is probably the most um, of my list this is probably the most masculine one um, I think anyone could pull this off but I think this leans a lot more masculine and it's just I adore this fragrance It's really really nice is at my number two spot uh, Creed green Irish tweed perfect for spring and have you guessed what will be my number one there you go it's crepuscule des âmes by atelier des arts and this fragrance to me it's just wow incredible this is totally underrated i don't see many people talking about this fragrance and to me this is the best one from this house this is citrusy aromatic it's warm and spicy and then it has this animalic touch as well which makes it really really sexy and it makes it so different than anything i've smelled before because to me this is kind of a you get the vibe is like a a, a, a very um modern forger kind of fragrance but with this animalic touch that makes this very very unique and very addictive um 
I think it's um, totally unisex, leaning slightly uh, on the masculine side. Uh, so at my number one spot is Crépuscule des Ames by Atelier des Ors. And that concludes my um, list for today. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, list of uh, fragrances. If you have enjoyed, please do uh, give this video a thumbs up and please do consider uh, subscribing to my channel. Uh, I really uh, much appreciate that. Thank you so much for, wa for watching and uh, I hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.